So these are my um, LED spotlights that I've had fitted to my bike for a couple of years now. Just cheap eBay jobs. Um, they worked really well. Uh, this is the bike I'm fitting them onto, refitting them onto. I've built some uh, brackets to hold them on here and here with some bobbins and I'm just going to mount them up here. This is my old KLE 500 Kawasaki. I'm going to fit them onto. Um, yeah, they work quite well, and they've been fine for a couple of years. So we'll refit them, and uh, hopefully another winter of riding. So I put a bit of rubber on here from an old inner tube, just to protect the metal and to give them a bit more grip. And you can adjust them once they're on the bike. Here it goes. Oh, all right. And they just clamp on there. I suppose you could put them on your handlebars if you had room. Whatever. I quite like them down here. Yeah. Where they go. So here's my setup for this bike. Um, I've got a direct feed here coming from the battery, which I think's got a five amp fuse that goes directly into the relay. Um, this is number eighty-seven on the relay. There's usually the instructions that tell you where all the things go. This is my earth onto the frame. And that is number 85, by the looks of it. Yep, 85. And then um, my power feed from the bike, uh, when the ignition's turned on, comes from my horn. And that wire goes to my switch, and then back from my switch, it then feeds into number 86. And then the power output should be this one, which is 87, so... That's going to be my power output. The switch is right here, on and off. So, <clears throat> what I've done here is I've got one of these um, plastic connectors and fitted my power line to the top one and then my earth here. And what I'm going to do is take the ends of my spotlights the LED lights, one for positive, and one for negative, and then then do the same the other side. Here. And that should simply pop off. And then pull the card. Revealing the engine, and where I will be feeding my wire through across the top of the cylinder head and through the other side. Right then, that's one from the other side and that's this right hand side. What I'll do is I'll twist these um, wires together before I put them in. That's the positive, twisted together and the negative. Twist that together too, and pop them into the wee, gap, the wee gaps in there and tighten them up. Should be straightforward enough. This is the positive one. Open it up a little bit more. Then it goes. Hold it there and tighten it up. Good. 
and then we'll get the negative one just below that where the negative feed, feeds in from the top of this little um, plastic connector. connection there, just double check. Yep. Okay, now we tighten up extra little bit just to make sure they're firm. Right, so it should be all connected. Switch is connected, live feed connected to relay, all the relay, connect, relay connections up and running. So, before I tighten up the, uh, the lights, I'll just um, double check that they work. So, Ignition on. Light switch. Yep, we have light. Both of them. Yeah. Excellent. Now put it all back together. All the panels back on. Tighten up the clamps that hold the spotlights on, adjust them so not dazzling anybody, any drivers or people in front. And um, yeah, that's it. Straightforward and hopefully it'll last another year. Now one thing I have noticed is that at some point this uh, wire has managed to, um, I think, melt a bit, probably touching the engine itself. So what I'll do is make sure it's tucked out of the way with a, a cable tie to stop that happening again. But it seems to be okay. It's, it's mushed up the insulation a bit, but there's no exposed wires. So I'll just leave it at that and tuck it in. So I found a better solution for that. Um, and I've actually just tied it around to this bar that um, surrounds the radiator so that's a more efficient way of holding it in place and it passes over the top of the frame over the coils and through the other side comes out over the top of the uh, coils and of course into the connector which I've mounted on the frame and just holds it nicely. So, time to uh, put it all back together. Right, looking good, spotlight's back on, just need to adjust them, mounted where I want them, fairings back on, and uh, ready to go.